Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. Today we're going to be learning, as I'm sure the title said of this video, about VM and ESXi server. Now, why are we going to learn about this? Because it's the greatest thing in the world to virtualize your servers. If your company is not virtualizing, you need to start virtualizing now. And I'll tell you at the end of this video how I can help you get started very easily and with no sweat. So what I'm going to show you today is how to use your ESXi server and set it up so your machines will automatically start up when the physical box itself starts up. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up our vSphere client and this is ESXi. We're going to log in here. Then I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up when something happens in your rack. Let's say a power failure or something happens uh, beyond your control. And let's say you're not at the server farm right now or you're not with your servers or anything. And you just, you know, you have to make sure when that physical box comes up that those servers come up in the order and the way that you want them to come up. So what we're looking at today here with my particular ESXi server is I have an instance of Mint Linux loaded on there and I have a server 2008 R1. We're going to say that this server 2008 is our domain controller. It's our primary domain controller. So we know that that machine has to come up first so every other machine along the way your virtual machines will authenticate against that. So what I'm going to do is go right up here to the IP address. That's the actual physical box. That's the IP address for it. We're going to come over to our tabs and click on configuration. Once we do that, we're going to go down here to where it says virtual machine startup and shutdown. Now, right now, it's telling me that both of my machines are set for manual startup. Now, this is not good because, again, if you have a power failure, power failure or something happens, what's going to what's going to happen here in this situation, the setup is. Your physical boxes will turn back on when the power comes on and everyone's going to start complaining they can't log into the servers and you're going to be scratching your head saying wonder why because they're physical you i mean they're virtual so you can't see them so we're going to go ahead and again this is ESXi esxi server 5.1.0 we're going to go ahead and click on properties and in this properties dialog, we're going to go ahead and set this up so they automatically start up the service that we want to start up. Now, I do up at the top here, click on default startup delay of 60 seconds. The default is 120, which is two minutes. I want that server to start up as soon as that machine's ready to go. I want that machine to delay for about a minute and then go ahead and start up. So to do this, we're going to click on our server 2008 R1, which as I said, that's going to be our domain controller is what you're looking at. We're going to move it up, up again, and up one more time to where it says automatic startup. Now, do I want my Mint Linux to automatically start up? Probably not because it doesn't really do anything. I just have it on there as a test machine and you're going to have test machines on your virtual machines and that's okay. Once you do this, you're going to simply click on OK. And you're going to see now that that machine is ready and it's going to actually start up on its own. Go up here and we're going to come back down. And when you open it back up, when you first do that, you just put multiple instances in there. When you open it back up, you'll see that there's only one. And that's automatic startup enabled. It's a 60 second delay and it will fire up. The Mint Linux is still disabled because we will start that on our own. So what this means now, folks, if we go down, if we power the physical box off and I restart it, once it reboots and comes back up, this server will automatically come back up with it. I hope you've enjoyed something or, or learned something here that you uh, have not learned before or didn't know. Um, and what I'm offering you here to even learn ESXi better get a better understanding I'm now offering a class online and it's called ESXi from install to administration 
very easy to follow along. There's videos. You watch a video, you take a short quiz. You watch another video, you take a quiz. Once you complete the whole course, and after the course is over, you do earn a certificate of completion. That course can be found at classroom.jackstechcorner.com. Once again, it's classroom.jackstechcorner.com. You'll learn about ESXi. There's also a new, and I've had it up here before, a new Windows Server 2012 uh, course on there and are steadfast and people are still signing up for it. The Windows Server 2008 R2 course. A lot of people win that course and people swear by it and a lot of people have earned their certificates. So hey, thank you very much for watching this and we hope to see you in the virtual class soon. Take care and keep those ESSI servers running. Bye for now.